Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look and comparing Autodesk Fusion 360 to Siemens Solid Edge. To start with, we're going to be modeling a basic wire spool that can be 3D printed. So we're going to be working off of this sketch that I drew, which has some of the basic dimensions outlined. We'll go ahead and jump right into both programs. And I'm just going to do a side by side here so we can compare both the performance of the program itself as running on my Asus G14 laptop, as well as how some of the shortcuts and interface works between the two. With Siemens Solid Edge, I've already set up a lot of the keyboard shortcuts to be as close to Fusion 360 as I can. Although the interface does not let you select a key input directly, such as the L key for line, it does require a modifier key, so I used Shift for all those. One thing to note as well, since I have had many years of experience using Fusion 360, I just jumped right in and I believe this is either my first or second attempt at making this part. So you can see that some of the dimensions that I'm trying did need a little bit of modification to work since this was actually completed before I had annotated all of the dimensions in the drawing that you saw earlier. On the other hand, in Solid Edge, this was actually my fifth attempt at creating this same part since I was still learning the program and some of the shortcuts and locations of the tools that I commonly use in Fusion. So it's not exactly a fair comparison, me having about 30 to 60 minutes of total experience in Solid Edge as opposed to six to eight years in Fusion 360 but I think it's still a good comparison for a newcomer to Solid Edge as someone coming from Fusion 360 with prior experience. This video was of course prompted by Autodesk's recent decision to only allow cloud simulations and blocking local simulation results for its users, including any of all of its paid users. This is yet another step from Autodesk that shows that it is less interested in what its users want and more interested in squeezing every last penny from its user base. So I thought it was a good time to try and diversify and see how another CAD program that has a community edition functions and see if it would be good enough for my needs. So as we're just finishing up the part here in Solid Edge, I would say overall my impression is it's not as quick to work with Solid Edge, but the program is a little more optimized for lower end hardware as opposed to a large program like SolidWorks, which I had previously tried. And it may also have some interesting features with its uh, so-called synchronous editing. Although I did not use that for this, I found it caused some issues such as not being able to mirror the part. So that concludes the video. Uh, thanks everyone for watching and hope you found this useful.